Hey everyone, welcome to another Tech Tip uh, Tech episode. In this episode, uh, we're going to do something very, very special. And we do have a special guest. Uh, one of our customers, unfortunately, wanted to replace his display and uh, end up uh, killing his board. Immediately, we know who to contact and who to uh, talk to. And that is Vache. He's one of the top uh, board level technicians here that we know is in existence. And I really mean it. He knows his stuff and he is always here for Tech Tip whenever we have special case like this. And today, uh, I think he likes to break it down and say and show you from a technical perspective of a technician what it takes and what to do and what to avoid. Thank you for introducing me, us. I am a <laughs> top it is, tech. It Thank is you a very pleasure, much. man. But I want you to tell them what uh, scenarios can lead to killing your own board. You just want to replace the display and you're going to end up with a bad board. And unfortunately, as I'm sure you are completely aware, Vacha, all the memory and all the information these days are soldered to the board. So if you lose a board, you lost your information. Thank you. Uh, okay, what exactly happened when you are trying to replace the screen? The screen, when you are trying to replace it and the battery is connected, it still does have a power inside. For example, what kind of power we are talking? It's a low voltage, but if you are looking from the other side, that's not exactly the low voltage. It's almost 50 volt. The backlight controller, for example, it does have a 50 volt in order to turn it on the backlight of the screen. But now imagine that backlight, I will uh, show you also, uh, you can see what about we are talking. Next to the 50 volt, how, which is, was designed like from Apple, there is a one pin data line, which is need only three volt. Imagine you are giving him 50 volt. It's almost 20 times, almost 15 times more than normal. That right away will kill your CPU. Now what you can do? Nothing. You lose everything. In order to avoid this type of issue, what we have to do? Just two steps. Disconnect battery flex cable and the screw up to you if you are sure it's original battery. You don't have to even to remove it, that screw. Only the flex cable it's enough. Second step, what we have to do? Just press the power button. Once you press the power button, what's happening is discharging all the capacitors and the voltage of it drops to zero, which is safe to work on it. And there are also another methods, which is we have to take it. That's why all the DIYers, when trying to replace it by themselves, the screen, it's easy step. Because these days, you know, you can buy the screen and the tools. But there are no too many information how to replace it proper way in order to not kill the board. Even by killing the board, that's not a big deal. That's OK. The important part is when you are killing the non-cheap, the data, and that unit is not repairable. Now what's happening? You are losing everything. Imagine now there's an author who write a book, like 100 pages, and then he is losing everything. And they are asking to me to fix it. But I cannot do nothing because it's gone, because of small mistake that happened and then you cannot do nothing. And then I will explain it uh, because I have this board here. This is uh, one of the board from TechDeb, as you know, which is we receive it. A customer try to replace it by himself the screen and end up that board is not, again, which as I explained, is not only the dot board the problem because for the dot board to replace it, you can spend a couple hundred dollars and you can get another board and everything okay everybody happy but this specific case we need data and now we cannot help the customer to get data that's the biggest problem which is we are facing right now that's why i like to explain and give you and share with you some information which is i had in my experience and i will show what happening exactly and why is happening Disconnecting the battery is one of the things that everyone have to pay attention to. Disconnect the battery, press the power button for, let's say, 10 seconds. Yes, 10 seconds is enough. Discharge all the capacitors. 
now it might be really safer to work on but uh, still bad thing can happen knocking off a capacitor knocking off a chip because you know things are next to your hand and you're trying to put uh, the uh, connectors and you're pressing over the connectors actually you're breaking the connectors so there is more things that you need to be careful but those are fixable i agree with and you and killing the processor is not fixable yeah, that's why in order to avoid also this kind of problems, what I can offer all the viewers who are watching your channel, they can send it to you, to the specialist who will handle it everything. If there's any specific case we need a, some data recovery. Yeah, we can, we can definitely do that. We can course. definitely do that. But what are the very no-no things we should not do when, when we are doing it? ourselves at home when we are doing a repair at home number one when you are doing a repair at your home uh, first step as i talked to you and i told uh, you have to disconnect the battery that's the step number one discharge the battery which is mean now it's safe and after that disassemble it this screen replace it and put it back S next step when you are putting the new screen back you have to be very careful with the connector because when you are connecting, for example, as you know, the connector does have almost 40 pins, 40 tiny pins, like hair pins. If slide it one to the next, then will happen it again, this issue. Once you turn it back on the machine, there will be some type of short, and then again, your computer will die. So I see also you have uh, some very fancy machines here. So we did talk about it, discharge and all of that we said, and you added that make sure your uh, connector is aligning. If it's not aligning, you're probably gonna power place that you should not be powering and that can also kill your board. So let's move on. Uh, watch it, what is, what is this beautiful uh, green things you brought here and why it's connected to the board, what it's gonna do? Uh, this is a very cool uh, machine. Good thing of this machine, the good thing of this machine, I don't want to make any advertising. It's helping only to me understand the issue with the screen in a second. By pressing one button, it will show me if there's an issue with the screen and the board where is that issue and what else I need to check it. That's the one which is helping me. But this is the only machine for helping the time, only for the time, nothing else. We understand that using this board, you will communicate with the board to see what is feeling. It will give you a code, it will give you an error, and then you will re uh, uh, read it using this, uh, this device to determine what is the next thing you want to do, where you want to inspect, and what might be the issue. Is that is that accurate? Uh, kind of is accurate, yes. It's giving me a reading from these pins, uh, It's uh, which is called like diode mode reading, and will give us some measurement from the normal working boards if there's a something different from the original measurement. For example, if you like, uh, here's an example, let's do this one and then we will check also the schematic board view and I will show you how this one is working. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, now what we are doing, uh, I'm choosing the device. What kind of device is it? It's a little bit hard for you to see. This is a A2251 model. And then we are going EDP, EDP, which is uh, for the stand for the screen. That's a screen port. Here are all these measurements, which is I talked, I told you. There's like 46 pins, for example, and the 46 pins, as you see, there's a value which is says like 280, 280, 560. These are the value originally should be no, as normal working board this value should be having let's test it now okay here what we have here the pin number one as you can see it says 410 that's a good reading what that mean when it says up that's a good because on diet mode on this board it shows a little bit higher that's normal for us, it's important to not show too much high 
or too much low, close to zero. When it's a too much high, we are talking, that means there's an open circuit, there's nothing connected. For example, if there should be some type of resistor, which is will make like a zero ohm or 200 ohm, it doesn't matter. If when it's very high, that means there's an open circuit, but when it's a low, when it's a close to the, like if how you can see the pin number 30, Four and 36 it show us like 43 and 45 but it normally it should be there 410 that's really very low and this one it's uh, pins which is was connected directly to the t2 chip okay and this is the one which is was shorting now uh, let me show you what exactly happened on this board then you can understand this is the top case of this motherboard let me plug it back the lcd connector this board it's uh, inside the top case okay now when you're replacing the screen after all that this is the connector it will be like this it's not aligned this connector when you unplug it you are replacing the screen and after that everything is okay nothing no problem then this connector is like this when you are trying to put it back you will have it that problem because battery was not disconnected yes then what happening there is a five volt these are the pins which is I'm talking I hope you can see these are the 46 pins two row all this goes to this connector and here where is the number 34 and number 36 pin those which is I will show you also on the board view what about we are talking it's sitting this connector like this which is disaligned. The top row does have more power when you're trying to connect it in wrong way. That part is shorting that small section, that 1.8 volt data line rail on the shorting. Once it's shorting, it's damaging our board. Now, Let's talk also about the uh, board view, which is you can understand much more clearly what about I'm talking. This is uh, the board, which is uh, we are talking like A2251. This is the connector. That connector, which is you saw right now, and the pin 34 and 36, these are the pins all these pins imagine when it's not aligned it's shorting each other and then let's check it where it goes this pin these are 34 and 36 it goes it goes it goes to here one pin is here this is the testing point second it's here this is the one and this one it's connected is our t2 chip this is the problem this is the way how designed apple a lot of pins directly are connecting a lot of data lines are directly connecting to the t2 chip or to the cpu for the backlight case which is you cannot do nothing this board is done because the t2 chip is damaged it's shorting it's a direct connection why because this pin needed only 1.8 volt and now we are giving him more than 5 volt which is will cause this damage and this damage is damaging the t2 chip and then you cannot do nothing now all this message which is i'm trying to transfer you in order to avoid this type of issues what we need to do two simple steps disconnect the battery and discharge the power from inside 
or the best one of the best option will be by sending your device to take that they will handle it that's all of this fancy stuff to show you not unplugging your battery not disconnecting your battery uh, that can cause such an issue and send power somewhere that should not be sent and all of this complicated stuff it will tell you that you just killed your data containing chip where your data is sitting is been electrocuted yes don't do it or if you do it unplug the power but overall if uh, you have any question please leave it on a comment david will transfer me all your uh, comments if there's uh, any other question you have it you can put on a comment and maybe we can make another video i'll be with david that would and david be awesome. will be <laughs> welcoming me Man, that would be awesome studio maybe another time we can make uh, another video real making or fixing uh, one of your viewers yeah that would be nice you guys send us your devices on our uh, mail repair we will uh, we will let vacha uh, do it live so you will see how it's done but of course we will try our best to help you if you have any question let us know awesome well thank you so very much vacha pleasure having you again as always thank uh, you very much I, uh, thank you i hope you guys learned something and if you guys uh, need uh, any sort of parts, display, cables, logic boards, we have them all on, on techtup.com. Link is in below. Uh, if you guys want to send your device, you just don't want to do it. Link is below. We have a very efficient mail and repair system and you can send it. And we are looking forward to see you on the next episode. Thank you so very much. We'll see you next time.